All right, hello YouTube. So, today what I got, actually I got a few videos that I'm going to be working on, and most of them are going to be splicing videos on pretty much everything that I can think of, and requests on other stuff. Um, these are going to be for a, a few different options, but still the basic uh, concepts are going to be the same on how to splice things in. So the first one I'm going to do is one of these old chargers that you have you might be lying around maybe in a big box of uh, cables and whatnot um, I found one of these and you check on here and what I'm gonna be looking for is the uh, the input and the output make sure it's not gonna be too overpowered because I'm gonna be using this for my phone and my phone is the 2.2 amps for charging and the 5 volts so this is going to be the same. I think this is from an old um, cell phone, like a really old one, where you actually have this end on it. I can't exactly remember what it's for, but if you have one of these lying around, maybe you want another charger, then I'm going to show you how to take the end off of this one and put a USB onto it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to have to get some kind of um, USB, doesn't matter what it is, it can be a USB end connected to another USB end or whatever. The wires are still going to be the same, just the, the end connection is going to be different. So find out, or try to find one that uh, you're not going to be using for anything that you can cut up. So I'm going to get my USB and I'm going to chop that off and then I'm going to get this. I'm going to chop that off. So let's do that. Alright, so once you've cut it off and you've stripped it back, this is what it's going to look like. So once you cut it and strip it back, this is what you're going to find. And you're going to have a bunch of different colors in there and you're also going to have all the wires on the outside. First thing we're going to do is we're going to separate these all out so it's easier to look at and figure out where these go. Alright, I kind of peeled it back a little bit for you to see here. All this right here, you don't have to worry about. It's just the shield that it kind of insulates the whole thing. And it also comes in kind of like a foil for the rest of these guys. You can just peel these back, cut them off, whatever you need to do. Get them out of the way and just focus on the colored ones on the inside and uh, strip back the plastic from those. Alright, now that I have everything mass in strip that you can see, i got the shielding kind of wrapped around the bottom of it, but you've got the white, green, red, and black. The black is going to be your ground, and your red is going to be 5 volt. The white is going to be data negative, and green is data positive, if you even use the white or green um, for sending and receiving data. But if you're using it for charging purposes, all you need is the red and black. Basically, it's just going to be your positive and your negative. Red being positive, black being negative. And this is going to be what it's going to look like when you strip this one out. I have three wires on this one because, as you can see over there, it is a three-prong. Three. So I have three wires, a positive, a negative, and a ground. And you can tell which is which because as you can see all these are black and if you didn't know already you have the indicators on the actual wire the solid one in the middle the black is going to be your negative the one with the writing is going to be the positive and the striped one right here is going to be your ground so if you're not using in this case the ground or the bottom one because you're not putting it into something like that. You can combine both the negative and the ground together like that and just use that as your positive and your negative. 
this is what I have. Yes, I know it's a little messy, but I'm trying to do this for um, demonstration purposes so you can actually see this. Um, I've got the white and the green laid off over to the side and the red positive connected to the positive on my charger and the black connected to the ground. So this is what we're going to use. Do you need any other angle for that? All right, just a reminder, for anything that you have that's coming out that has these colors on them that aren't just normal color, even even if there's a, a copper colored one, um, there's a layer around it that won't have any conductivity, so if you touch two of these wires together, nothing's going to happen because there's a, a layer that goes over both of them. So a quick and easy thing to do is you can either sand off this protective coat or get a lighter and burn it off. So let me show you that real quick. It's super fun. Just like that, it takes the coating off. 